Today, we will be solving a logarithmic equation with TI-8384. What we will do is, we will be given an equation of the form f of x equals g of x. We will take the right hand side to the left, f of x minus g of x. We will sketch the graph and find its zeros. And the only thing that we have to remember about logarithms is how to input them to the Texas Instruments graphing calculator. Let us imagine that we are given such an equation. Logarithm base x of 3 equals logarithm base 4 of x. What are the sum of the roots of this equation? What we will do is, we will take the right hand side to left, logarithm base x of 3 minus logarithm base 4 of x, and then we will sketch the graph and find its zeros. In order to enter logarithm base x of 3, what we will do is, we will write log 3 over log x. We have to be careful with the parentheses. Okay, we have sketched the graph. It seems that we have two x-intercepts, but we would like to highlight this portion. So we, what we will do is, we will zoom this part. We will zoom box. We will use make, we will use zoom box. And while using zoom box, we have to specify two opposite corners of a rectangle. We, we can move on at the screen with the arrows. When we select the first corner, we press enter. And we have both of the x-intercepts. Now we will find the x-intercepts using calculate zero of the TI-8384. For the left bound of this x-intercept, we can try moving with the cursor or instead we can go to that point by making a guess, we see that this is 1, and this is 0.5, and this is less than 0.5. So for the left bound, 0.1 is a good choice. Now we can specify the right bound by the cursor. And we find, we find our first 0 as 0.29. Now, in order to find the second zero, we know that it is between 3 and 4. So we can directly use calculate zero and guess our left and right bounds. And the second zero is 3.44 round to rounded to two decimal places. Going back to the question, we have two x-intercepts and we were to find the sum of the, these two x-intercepts and the sum is 3.73 rounded to two decimal places. 
Now we move on to solving a trigonometric equation in the degree mode. We are given an equation of this form. Cosine 2x equals 2 sine 90 degrees minus x. We are asked to find the all possible values of x that are between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. The first thing that we have to make sure is that we have to set our angle mode to degrees. And then we will take the right hand side to the left. We will get this function cosine 2x minus 2 sine 90 degrees minus x. And we will sketch the graph of this function within this interval and find the x, inter x intercepts of the resulting function. So, let's go to the graphing calculator and try to sketch the graph. Cosine 2x minus 2 times sine 90 minus x. We will sketch the graph in the degree mode, so we, we should make sure that we are in the degree mode. We will set the x values, the x min, to 0 degrees, x max to 360 degrees, and x scale as an integer divisor of 360, depending on how many grids that we would like to have on the screen for the x-axis. I would suggest 90 degrees. We sketch the graph. For this particular problem, it is not important for us to see the hill here. But if it were, what we would do is, we would go to zoom, and we would select zoom fit. Zoom fit does not change the x min and x max values. It just scales y so that it will fit the entire screen. Now, our next step will be finding the zeros of this function. We will use calculate zero. The left bound is about 90 degrees. We could have entered it by directly using the screen or we can move with the cursor and enter them. The first solution is 111.47 degrees. Now we will find the second solution. The second solution is 248.53 degrees. Please note that we didn't do any specific task related to trigonometry. We just entered the equation 
and we found its graphs. But please note once again that you have to be careful whether you have to be in the degree mode or the radian mode and you have to set the window x min and x max values correctly.